Hi everyone, welcome to Lucky Punch. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alamo Dome here in the beautiful city of San Antonio, Texas. And now making his way to the ring, the distinguished world champion fighting out of Los Angeles and representing his heritage of Michoacan in Mexico. He is the four division world champion. He is the current WBA featherweight and super featherweight champion of the world, Leo El Terremoto Santa Cruz. And now ladies and gentlemen, joining us to the blue corner, the young star of boxing from Baltimore And he just called out one of the biggest punchers in Gervonta Davis. There's a ring. And there's a counter. In this match, early remains to be seen. I know you've been in the ring twice with Santa Cruz. You trained to face Davis. Counter punches with that left. Yeah, that left uppercut has, has been there. Santa Cruz. Bridge of his nose, it looks like. There's a right hand, a right hook behind the guard. Take his punches, but no, he's the pressure fight. He's the pressure fighter in this fight. He's pressuring. Begins to fade. That's where Santa Cruz wants to bring Davis is into the deeper waters. And another look at it will demonstrate that it was their feet that kind of got wrapped up with each other. Might be cheering on both fighters. Great start here. The bell and round number two. Delivering the jab, trying to split the guard, leads with the right hand, putting pressure on, and that does not seem to be the case against definitely a more compact Pelling confrontation. And already so much to absorb. He's going to be going to the canvas, but not for a punch. That was, in, you know, pretty blatant there because of the lack of distractions and the ability to focus. But center, good stuff through two rounds. This is round number three, scheduled for 12. You get the feeling Davis is his adapting so far to being pushed back. Santa Cruz taking small steps, and there's a left hook. Again, the left hand's going yeah. to react. Yeah. Manuel Stewart, who said knockout sell, and knockouts have been Davis' calling card. For him, but it is effective. As Santa Cruz's twitch. Look at the difference. When Davis is the aggressor, uh, you see a to totally different fight. The first pay-per-view here tonight. Davis versus Santa. Back up, back up. So we've already seen. There, Santa Cruz digging to the body. And there's Santa Cruz through the right. And Davis now loading up again with the left. Right hook getting in there. But then here, he comes with that uppercut on the inside. I'll tell you what. But Santa Cruz still looking to establish the jab, but he's getting hit. Delivering already here in round four. Lead right hook by Davis. Is this the... He would land the uppercut on the inside. This is the difference. Santa Cruz is a... He's doing the, the, a great job. I think he's doing the right thing. And most of these big Good fights... Defense. Where you saw the jab and you saw... There, that counter uppercut is just... At the Alamo Dome, we are through four. This is round number five. This fight, and he wants to get back to it, is his own left hook, which is not normally his money part. We talk about Santa Cruz combination punches. His career, 23 and 0, 22 knockouts. Now Santa Cruz trying to in the back like that. He gives the Davis the opportunity to land that one. So then try to continue to collect data. As Davis again goes downstairs with a left uppercut, sweeping right hook upstairs. Round at number six, Davis Santa Cruz taking a look and what must be going on in his mind. Um, because as the game plan that he mentioned is to uh, <laughs> yes. But they are, he is doing some fantastic work here, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz has landed. Santa Cruz putting together his combination. And that is the Santa Cruz, Cruz yeah. DNA. Yeah, I was just going to say, Leo Santa Cruz do that now. <laughs> yeah, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> and coming forward with punches of his own. Champions. If Davis thought Santa Cruz was going to fold from his own. 